all new batteries must be charged before they're put into service, whether they're activated at the factory or in your dealership. To activate a new dry charge maintenance free battery, be sure to only use a container of electrolyte supplied with the battery. The quantity of electrolyte is specific for each model of battery. The seals on the container will be pierced open by the special ports in the top of the battery to start the flow of electrolyte into each cell. Press the container firmly down into the battery openings. Let the electrolyte gravity flow into the battery. Do not squeeze the container to speed up the process. You can lightly tap on the top if necessary to help the acid flow. When the container is empty, remove it and let the battery sit for 30 minutes to an hour. This allows the electrolyte to saturate the plates and the mats and purge all air pockets from between the plates. At this point, the battery is about 80% charged, but do not sell it to the customer or put it into service yet. The battery needs to be charged to 100% to ensure the battery will give its full performance and last many years with proper maintenance. When the battery is 100% charged, remove the cables and let it sit for 30 minutes. Then it's ready to be tested. A good practice is to document the percentage of charge so the customer knows he's getting a fully charged battery that's been properly serviced. Readings from the UASA tester can be handwritten on the PDI sheet. Or if you're using a Medtronics tester, attach the printout. Going this extra step shows your customers that your dealership is totally committed to their complete satisfaction. If the voltage in a battery falls below about 2 volts, most battery chargers will not even try to recharge the battery. This prevents the battery from potentially reversing polarity when it's recharged, the positive side becoming negative and vice versa. When you connect a battery charger to a battery, it checks the voltage first thing. If the battery is completely dead, the charger sees the voltage is too low and doesn't even indicate that the battery is connected. So it can appear that the battery has an open circuit or just won't take a charge which could result in a battery being replaced unnecessarily. You can force the battery charger to begin charging a completely dead battery. First, make sure you connect the charger leads with the correct polarity since the charger might not automatically detect the leads are connected reversed. Then connect a good battery in parallel with the dead battery with a set of jumper wires and charge both at once. After a short time, the voltage in the dead battery will come up high enough so that it can be connected to the charger by itself. Using some type of rotation system is critical to providing properly serviced batteries in new units, especially when units might be sitting on the showroom for a period of time. When units are uncrated for display, remove the factory activated battery and charge it to 100%. Tag it with the date and store it so it can be quickly identified when it's time to reinstall in the unit or if it's time for a recharge. Your storage system should be a first in, first out system. Rotate your stock so that older batteries are used first and that batteries never sit in a discharge state. Generally, Batteries in storage need to be recharged every month, so regular maintenance must be a key component in your rotation system.